Elder Robert Burton said his return from a foreign mission he had mingled with and spoken to a great many Latter-day Saints, from Idaho in the north to St. George in the south. We, who had the privilege of receiving the great and glorious principles of salvation, should be willing, under all and every circumstance, to make all things else secondary. Until God, through his servant Joseph, revealed the plan of life, we were, one and all, both priest and people, entirely ignorant of the gospel. When we first received this message, we embraced it cheerfully, and the war commenced, for we were mostly cast out by our friends, who turned their backs upon us. Every other religion could be enjoyed without molestation, but the moment we embraced the great truths of God, our Father in heaven, the war commenced, and no matter how unimpeachable our characters, our names were cast out as evil. This result was by no means remarkable, for it had been so in all ages when God had inspired servants upon the earth to carry out his great plan. When the saints of God began to be slack in their duties and to neglect the things of the kingdom, the Lord had a way to wake them up. He was feeling after us by the preached word through his servants and calling upon us to prepare for the coming of the Son of Man. He spoke of our happy experience when we first embraced the gospel and how devoted we were to the cause we had espoused. But, from the present condition of things, he sometimes thought we had forgotten the great object we at first started out to obtain. In material progress, he was willing to admit we had made striking advancement. But underlying all this was the moral status, which fell far short of what it ought to be. We should catechize ourselves, and wherein we found ourselves deficient, we should reform our lives. He then spoke of the time and circumstances connected with the death of the prophet Joseph and bore testimony to hearing the voice of the Good Shepherd when President Young spoke from the stand with the voice of Joseph, who had been previously killed. Union was one of the most conspicuous elements that must exist among the saints in the last days. How long would it be before we entered into that united order of things that would cement us together as one people? For this purpose we were brought here. And, for this purpose, had the Lord tempered the elements and caused the barren and waste places to become fruitful. But many of us had become disobedient and selfish and careless, and the servants of God had called upon us to repent and reform, renew our covenants by rebaptism, and continue faithful to the requirements of heaven to the end.